intentional grounding. Offense number. review the video evidence of every case. Now this was the very opening drive for Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills and you're going to see Josh Allen kind of talking smack to the ref for calling him for the taunting penalty and as the ref comes over to him you could read his lips saying back up. And on the Sunday night broadcast you could see that this was in slow motion that they slowed it down but it was a very very quick point and I've seen plenty of players in the NFL do this without a call. Alex Kemp in picture here is in his only sixth year as an NFL referee and I think he needs to grow a pair. Taunting. Offense number 17 for pointing at the player on the way in the end zone. Here's the roughing the passer call on Tim Settle hitting Joe Burrow in a timely matter. Foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 99. As Tim Settle comes off the ball, he comes in, balls out, and he hits him immediately. That's a flash of a second here. Tim Settle did his job. And again, we're going to hear Chris Collinsworth flat out say that he feels as though that this was not roughing the passer. That did not look like roughing the passer to me. Spencer Brown was called for holding on this play, but you're going to see it was not even a hold. On the final play of the game, we're going to see clearly a hold by T. Higgins on Josh Norman, a much worse hold than this. But here's Spencer Brown. I mean, that's just good blocking. He just had long arms. There was no holding going on at all. Here's a deep shot to Deontay Hardy and as this play goes you're going to see a lot of contact on Deontay Hardy here which should have been called for pass interference. Deontay Hardy and the contact way down the field you could even see him putting his hands up kind of looking around looking for the flag after the play. The trip on Dalton Kincaid a clear sliding trip who almost injures our first round pick absolutely unbelievable here clearly clearly a trip and you're going to even hear the announcer state that this should have been a tripping call I think it's tripping I mean as he goes down there it's here's probably the worst call of the game calling Josh Allen for intentional grounding you're going to see not only Josh Allen be upset you're going to see Sean McDermott be upset you're going to look at Khalil Shakir and Gabe Davis looking at one another at the sidelines and kind of shake their heads intentional grounding Offense number 17. We all know what Josh Allen's saying here. Are you effing kidding me? And here's the pass you could see over the head of Gabe Davis. Even in New York, they state if the wide receiver is outside the numbers, the ball could be thrown over their head as far down as field as possible. Receiver is outside the numbers. The quarterback can throw it over his head as far as he wants to. Here's the ineligible man down the field penalty on the Bills on Connor McGovern. Now, as the ball gets snapped, Connor McGovern does cross the line of scrimmage, but he makes his way back to the line of scrimmage before the ball is actually thrown. So there you can see Connor McGovern, but he's starting to back up. The ball is not out. Josh Allen pump fates. He is basically, he's back at the line of scrimmage. And that's who got the penalty. And the other thing to keep in mind is that no contact was made. He didn't make any contact with a Bengals player. Connor McGovern came out, ran past it, and then backed up. The ball eventually comes out right now is when the ball comes out. Offense number 66, it's a five yard penalty. Still second down. Here's a great pass to Gabe Davis, and we're going to look upon a closer look here and see that there was a face mask on Gabe Davis. You could see even Gabe Davis grabbing his face mask, looking at the ref, basically poked him in the eyes, and there's no penalty here at all. 
Even Sean McDermott, after the play, was grabbing at his face saying, face mask, this should have been called. This was the first false start by the Cincinnati Bengals that was called, and you can see Bill's players pointing, the ref properly throws the flag. But on this play, the same thing happens again, but on a punt, you can clearly see the Bills players pointing and yelling, but no flag is called. Robbins to kick it. Deontay Hardy. Take notice of Stefan Diggs on the bottom of the screen and all of the contact by the cornerback. And you're going to see Stefan Diggs after the play throw his hands up, and the hand was on the hip. Look at the contact here, hand on him the whole entire time on his hip. Look at Diggs. I mean, this was clearly pass interference. Diggs pointing at his hip, Josh Allen with his hands up, no flag was thrown. All on the field here was incomplete to Trent Sherfield, but upon further review, I think it's clear and evident that Sherfield had his hand under the ball and that his fingers were under the ball here. So this was actually ruled incomplete upon even further review. Is gonna stand. To me, it's clear that the that his fingers are under the ball. And on the final play of the drive, where the Buffalo Bills had the Bengals on third down to potentially get the ball back for a game-winning drive, T. Higgins comes out and grabs a hold of Josh Norman. And we're going to see it here. Look at him grab, actually hits, grabs his face mask a little bit, and then grabs his shoulder. Josh Norman throws his hand up, looking for a flag, and absolutely just freaks out after the play. Hands are up. He runs over to the ref. Alex Kemp in his sixth season as an NFL referee is just absolutely horrible. And I really think the Buffalo Bills totally got screwed in these 12 instances that I just showed you. And the problem with NFL referees is that it's so inconsistent. Each NFL referee group in the NFL calls cer certain things more so than other groups. Like there's no consistency between group and group. We see things even during the game that certain things are called and then other times it's not called. There's way too much discretion for these refs on a weekly basis. NFL players don't know what's legal because some refs let it go and some refs call it. When you consider the refs totally screwing the Buffalo Bills, you consider Toronto Al Bernard getting injured, Micah Hyde going down, Linval Joseph and Razul Douglas really only being here a week, Leonard Fournette not playing for the Buffalo Bills. The two giveaways that the Buffalo Bills had, the Josh Allen interception, as well as a fantastic play by the Cincinnati Bengals, popping the ball out on Dalton Kincaid. The Bills lost the turnover battle 2-0, and we only lost by six. So to consider that, I really think the Buffalo Bills had a great effort for this game. You know, we really should have gotten killed and crushed, but the Buffalo Bills only lost by six. And you consider, again, all of these mishaps by the refs. I believe the Buffalo Bills really should have won. But let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, subscribe for future content. Drop a comment down below. Do you think these refs totally screw the Buffalo Bills on Sunday night? I want to hear from you, but I appreciate you guys, and go Bills.